everybody, I'm back to do, yes, another episode of Manga Probe. I didn't know there was a manga tag going around YouTube right now, and there is. And it is called the Manga Tag, and it was created by Pastel Sakura. I will leave a link to the original video down below if you would like to check that out. There's also links to a couple really awesome responses from that tag that I really enjoyed watching. I will leave those down below because I think you should check them out if you like this tag. So they are a series of 15 questions all related to manga and really your collection in general. So without further ado... Question number one asks, what was your first manga? I think what this means is what was the very first manga in your collection? And I believe it's a tie between Marmalade Boy by Wataru Yoshizumi or um, Dian Angel by Yu Yukiru Sugisaki. I got these, I don't even remember, middle school sometime? I don't know. Um, this one's more um, kind of geared towards everyone and this one's more for girls. It's like a cute little romance story. But yes, so we have those. Question number two is, what was your most expensive manga? So expensive manga, I have quite a few. I mean, if you talk about these omnibuses, which I own a bunch of them, are generally between 15 and $20. So that's pretty expensive considering when I was in high school, I was paying like $8.99 or $9.99 per volume, but these, those were smaller. These are big ones. So, I mean, that makes sense for them to be that. But I'm going to talk about expense for a single volume. They're Monster by Naoki Urasawa or Future Diary by Sakai Asuno. These are rarer mangas. This one probably not going to be as rare anymore because it uh, they're getting a, it's getting republished. So... Um, probably going to lose a lot of its value, but yes, I paid about $20 for each of these. So that's pretty expensive in my opinion. Also, the later volumes in this run up to like, I've seen them up to like $100. Okay. Question number three is, what was your least expensive manga? And for that, that one is really easy. Actually, I could say any of the manga that my friend gave me the other day for free, because it was free. Let me just grab one here. Uh, sure. This one. La Cordora. 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 Why did I pick that one? Question number four is what is the most boring manga you own? Sorry, Love Hina. Love Hina by Ken Akamatsu. This is a random volume seven. I only own volume seven and eight, and I don't know why. I think when I was younger, I was just like collecting to collect these, and not because I actually enjoyed this at all. This is like a harem story, basically. It's about this one guy who has like. 12 girls after him. I don't, I don't remember because I didn't like it at all and so yes, most boring. Question number five is what is your favorite manga series? Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, we all know how much I love Fullmetal Alchemist here. Yeah. I don't think I could say enough how much I love this. So we'll just go with that. Fullmetal Alchemist is my favorite, although Attack on Titan is also a really close one and so is Monster right now. This is like more current favorite. This is all-time favorite, more current favorite. Um, so yes, we have that. Okay. Question number six is what is the most relatable manga that you own? I really couldn't... I think it means like relatable to you. Honestly, I don't have anything that relates to me specifically. But I do really like this one, Kare First Love by Kaho Miyasaka. And um, I think this is pretty relatable to um, first love in general, like falling in love for the first time. It's very realistic. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this story. It's very cute. And so, yeah, I picked that. Plus, I couldn't really think of anything else. So, yeah, that. Question number seven is. 
What is one manga that you own that is based off an anime and not the other way around? Most, almost all anime is an adaptation from a manga series that already came before it. Um, honestly, I'm not too familiar with like the backgrounds of my manga collection to really tell you which ones came first, but honestly, from, from what I'm seeing here, I don't think I own any. The only one I thought thought might be is this one, and that's Blood Plus. Please tell me if I'm wrong, but I think, I think that the anime for this came first. And that's my guess. That's a guess. But yes, I'm just gonna say this, and if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below, because it could be. Question number eight is, what is your rarest manga? And that goes back to the more expensive ones, these two here. As far as like what I know, I have a lot, a lot of Tokyo Pop manga there, and I don't know. These could all, you know, there could be some rare ones in here too, but honestly I don't go online and search like what their price value online is, but for what I know, because I recently purchased them, I know that these are pretty rare just because of how expensive they were to buy. Um, like I said before, I don't know how uh, rare this one's going to be soon, just because they are republishing it, but I know as far as this one goes, it is. So we'll just stick with those. Question number nine is one of your reprinted manga, printed in the past but printed again by another company. For that one, I have Dead Man Wonderland by Jinsei Katoka and Kazuma Kondo. This was originally published by Tokyo Pop, and they went bust, and more recently, um, Viz has picked it up. Question number 10 is the most popular manga series you own. We could say Attack on Titan is the most popular, more recent, more popular series, but um, as far as I know from like sales uh, of this particular manga, uh, one of the most popular manga series out there, and you might not actually know of this one, is One Piece by Eiichiro Oda. It's been translated into many, many different languages, very, very popular series. Um, other than Attack on Titan is the more like recent very popular series. Um, on booktube I would say Death Note is a pretty popular series. Question number 11 is what is the most damaged manga you own? And I want to say it's this one, Host Club by Bisco Hattori. It has a lot of water damage on it, some kind of liquid gone on it, and so it's warped on the front. So yeah, I would say this one. Question number 12 is, which manga has the most amazing art? And for that I chose Ali Chino by Koyu Shure? Shure? Koyu, Koyu Shure? And the reason I absolutely love this artwork is just the detail in it, like, let me find a good, like, the strokes in the hair. And the eyes, let me see if I can find a close-up of an eye. Beautiful detail. Beautiful. So pretty. Question number 13 is, oldest published manga that you own? And I searched through a bunch of them, and I think it's this one, and that is Magic Knight Ray Earth by Clamp. This is volume 4, and it was published... First printing, July 2000. So I think this is the oldest one that I own. Um, the next older, oldest one that I could find was um, Marmalade Boy was published in um, March of 2002. Question number 14 is newest published manga that you own, and it is Nisekoi Volume 3, which was published in May. 2014. So just this past month. And then question number 15 is a recent manga that you purchased. I have a collection that I haven't shown you guys because it's going to be in my next manga haul next month, but um, in one of them I got Cage of Eden by Yoshinobu Yamada and I've already read this and it's really good and I can't wait to talk to you guys about it, but yes, so this is the newest Manga, one of the newest manga that I recently purchased. So that was the manga tag. I hope you guys enjoyed the tag. Please leave comments down below and I will talk to you later. Bye bye!